Hello everybody, so today we're going to be talking about centers of triangle. Okay, let's get started here. So which in which triangle do we have three opposite intersect outside of the triangle? So in order for us to do that, what we'd like to do is maybe let us tr uh, try to draw a few triangles. So for example, first one will be a uh, right triangle. And altitude, in interestingly, I'm going to use this one with a uh, different color, orange. And here for the first one, altitude from this uh, vertex right angle would be somewhere around here. Now, from here, altitude has to be perpendicular to its opposite side, so it's going to be around here. From this point, Yes. In fact, intersection of the altitude um, in the right triangle will be right over here. Okay, so it's not outside of the triangle. How about acute triangle? I'm just going to make up uh, three sides. One. Not quite an equilateral triangle, but a few triangle, let us say. Now, then what happened to its altitude? So, uh, here, if I to go to, if, I, if we let that to be the uh, beginning of altitude, then we're going to get something like this, here, around here. That's right. So, in fact, the altitude will intersect inside of the triangle. Now, on the other hand, how about obtuse triangle? So, why don't I pick something like this? Now, I'd like to move this one over to the other side. Now, So let's look at the uh, altitudes here first. So from here, you'll be somewhere around here. And altitude from here, that means it has to be perpendicular to each base. So I'm going to draw the line over here. Oh, wait a minute, but they don't, uh, seemingly, seemingly they don't intersect. So what I have to do is what if I have to extend this line? A bit further, then you will realize that. Hey, uh, I'm going to move the other picture. That will, in fact, intersect, yes, outside of the triangle. So, therefore, uh, it will be of this triangle. Now, here we are looking at, if you look at this one carefully, for example, if you look at this line alone, about this uh, side BC, then you will realize that this must be a perpendicular bisector. When perpendicular bisectors meet up, we will end up uh, creating circumference. You see the big circles will be uh, circum circumscribing the triangle. So what we end up getting is this, perpendicular bisectors of the, uh, bisectors of this side of triangle ABC. That becomes our answer. All right, now, given that CD is a, a bisector of the angle, and AE is also a bisector of the angle. The fact that they have made up a particular point, that means BG. It also has to be bisector of this angle. And which statement, uh, which statement must be true? And since BG is also a bisector of the angle, what we end up getting is uh, BDG. Uh, DBG, which is this angle, must be congruent to EBG. Choice number four would be our answer. All right, here uh, we are looking at the angle bisectors. That's the construction that you will see over here in the corner. So, therefore, uh, this will be intersection of the angle bisectors. And then, I'll try choice number one. Uh, 
and then we end up getting inside center of the inscribed circle and that's for the uh, angle bisect page all right let us move on centroid how do you find the centroid we try to do this one in two different ways one way is through the actual construction uh, on the coordinate geometry so from here centroid will be right over there because this is about the midpoint now what's the midpoint from uh, B, uh, what's the midpoint between B and C? It would have been right over there. So I'm going to go to this particular point. It goes over there. Opposite midpoint. So, when you will realize that this will be the point of intersection, which means the centroid. And I can read this one as uh, 3, 6, 7, and 5. So, 7, 5 would have been our answer. But another way which we know is how do you find the centroid in the coordinate geometry? All you have to do is get the average of x and average of y. So for example, we could, we could, we could have said 7 plus 3 plus 11 over 3 and then 9 plus 3 plus 3 over 3. Now, what we end up getting here is that when you add up these three numbers, it becomes 21. So then, that's why 7 here. We end up getting 15 divided by 3, which is 5. Either way, we're going to get the same answer. All right. Number uh, 159. Uh, <clears throat> determine the point of uh, intersection of the medians, once again, will be then, uh, we are looking at centroid. So once again, centroid, what are, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, get the average of x values and average of y values. x values are 3 plus 7 plus 11 over 3, and the y values are 3 plus 9 plus 3. Oops. Uh, interestingly, numbers happen to be the same. So here, average, when we calculate this value, we get 7. And here, we end up getting 5. So we end up getting 7, 5. That becomes our centroid. All right, let's move on to the next question. But the, well, when we are dealing with the centroid, what do we realize? You see, uh, this small portion, PF, the red portion, versus... The green portion C P. The ratio is in fact two to one. That's a two to one ratio. We have done it while uh, while back. Now then in this case, if this portion is x, then this must be two x by that ratio. Therefore, uh, since the CF, the entire line segment is six, the equation which we have to use would have been uh, two x plus x equals six right there. Now, number 161, in the same manner, CF is 24, that means this can be X, this can be 2X, and obviously we are looking for X here. And we get 3X equals 24, therefore X equals 8. Now, here we have uh, the length of FG is 12. That means the smaller portion, the portion uh, attached to this side is the X, and the portion attached to the vertex will be 2X. So this one is uh, 12, then the other portion has to be 24. So we end up getting 24 would have been our answer. How about here? TB is 9. That means once again this can be X. This can be 2x, double that. Then we end up getting 3x is equal to 9, which makes us to have uh, tx, which means after you find out x must be equal to 3, then 2x must be equal to, obviously, 6. So therefore, 6 becomes our answer. All right, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.